The KLA 10 Core 6100 is a non-contact optical surface analyzer for measuring particulate counts on a wafer surface. It can measure both bare silicon wafers and blanket coated oxide or nitride wafers. The unit can detect 0.157 micrometers at 95% capture rate based on PSL NIST calibration standard. And accuracy is within 2% based on approved calibration standard for semiconductor substrate materials. The substrate sizes can be from 4 inches up to 6 inch wafers. Before you can begin using the 10 core surf scan, you must first log in to the system at the access controller. Once you have done this, you may begin operation. For the purposes of this training video, we will be using a 100 mm 4 inch silicon wafer. On the monitor screen, click scan and then recipe. Choose IEN 100 mm for a 100 mm 4 inch silicon wafer in the recipe drop down tab. Now it is time to load the cassette. Ensure that the wafers are straight and aligned in the right slot within the cassette, with the inspected surface facing up. Set the H bar of the cassette into the carrier guide. Make sure that the cassette is placed in the correct cassette size and sits well on the loader. The straight edges of the wafers will be oriented away from you at the front of the cassette. Once you have aligned the cassette, return to the monitor and click CAS to load wafers. The screen should display small boxes along the right hand side of the screen. The numbers inside the boxes represent wafer numbers. Select the wafer number that you want from the slot number. Then click start on the screen to start the scan. When a substrate is scanned, a map and histogram will appear and show data graphically. Record particulate counts and size distribution value for each wafer. If you want to continue to scan another wafer, select another wafer slot number and click start again. Once your scan is complete, click home to bring the cassette back to unloading position. Now we will go over some important results from the scan summary data. The LPD count is the total of all light point defects and their surface area. Bin splits are LPD counts in different size ranges. The mean is the mean of collected LPDs. Scratch count is the total number of scratches in their total surface area. The sum of all defects is the sum of all LPDs and in areas including scratches. The haze region represents the percentage of surface area that contains haze. Haze average is the sum of all haze values divided by the number of haze values. Finally, the haze peak is the highest haze value. Once you have finished scanning your samples, click home and close the current page. Then leave the monitor on the home screen. Carefully remove your cassette before ensuring the cleanliness around the machine and logging out of the equipment. You should now have a good understanding of how to operate the 10-core surf scan to analyze the surface of semiconductor substrate materials. You should be able to choose a recipe, load a cassette, scan the substrate, and analyze the data. If you have any further questions, please contact the trainer for this equipment. Thank you for watching.